Uh, moving is no fun at all. I'm in the process of boxing up 21 years worth of my personal effects. And huh, let me tell you something. It ain't easy. I started out in the kitchen yesterday because it's one of my less frequently used rooms. Being as I take all my meals at Chipotle, I don't do a whole lot of cooking, but huh, my roommate sure did. And well, uh, I got the stove cleaned. I got the fridge cleaned. I'm working on all the cabinets. I cleaned out all the pots and pans. And next up huh, is going to be my office. And this room here is probably going to take me a full week just to box up. And aside from being an annoyance and a pain and a lot of work, it's also, well, it's also kind of emotional to be leaving this house. Uh, I bought this house at the end of 2011. So I've lived here almost 10 years exactly. And I've had the same roommate the whole time, believe it or not. The longest I've ever lived with anyone other than my, well, I guess other than my mom and my sister. Kind of freaky. So, you know, I have a lot of memories in this house. Some good, some bad. Uh, oh, I gotta take this down. <laughs> this is when I was on the cover of Las Vegas City Life. My life as a fetish model. Whoopsh. And then all these pictures hanging on the wall of the Vegas lights. Well, I don't know if I'm gonna need those in Death Valley. You know, it doesn't really seem like it fits with the theme out there, but I'm sure I'll find some use for them. Now, some things in the house I'll be more than happy to say goodbye to, like my roommate's hideous back inverter that he insists on keeping in the living room. But there is one thing that I'm really not looking forward to leaving at all. And that is my little dog, Fred. Fred, what happened to you? <laughs> Fred, have you no shame? I'll take that as a no. Oh, my roommate got him groomed the other day and they like basically shaved him. I think it's called a lion cut. They left like hairs on the end of his tail. Freddie, you look at you. You look like a potato. Oh no, Fred, have some shame. Anyway, uh, well, unfortunately, Fred is not coming to Death Valley with me. My roommate takes more care of the dog than I do realistically because I'm always traveling and he, he actually got really close to the dog. He takes really good care of Fred. And well, it just seemed like I should at least offer to let him keep the dog because they had become emotionally attached and also because well there's a lot of coyotes out in death valley and well <laughs> fred i don't think you'd be able to <laughs> i don't think you could take a coyote <laughs> so yeah i'm really sad about leaving him but honestly i guess it's for the best but it doesn't make it any easier Fred. And the worst thing about this haircut that he gave him is this is exactly how the dog was groomed when I first got him. So it reminds me of when he was, well, young. Uh, for that matter, I guess it reminds me of when I was young. Yeah. Um, actually, the story of how I got Fred, I think I told it in another video, but it's kind of interesting. Uh, I had another dog before Freddy, a really sweet little dog named Stubby, who was half German Shepherd, half Corgi. He was adorable. Uh, unfortunately, I had to have him put down because he had liver cancer. And well, at that time I wrote a blog. And so I, I blogged about, oh, I had to put my dog down, I'm so sad. Well, this girl that I had worked with at a trade show, another trade show model, um, she read my blog and she emailed me. And she goes, hey, I read your blog. I'm sorry to hear about your dog, but I have another dog you might be interested in. Well, this girl lived down by Kingman, Arizona, okay? Uh, it's like an hour and a half from Vegas, but she would drive all the way up to Vegas to work trade shows because I guess there's no work like that in Kingman. Oh, Fred. Uh, she didn't even live in Kingman, actually. She lived in, I think, Golden Valley, right outside Kingman, down at the end of a long dirt road uh, in a trailer. And apparently people would go down this dirt road and abandon pets all the time. So she was in the habit of taking in the dogs, feeding them, and finding homes for them. So when she read my blog that my previous dog had passed away, she goes, hey, I got a dog that you might be interested in. And I was like, oh man, do I really want to drive all the way down to Kingman to go look at a dog? You know, what if I don't like the dog? So I go, well, I don't know, what's he like? And she goes, what's he like? He likes steak, he likes long walks. I mean, what do you think he likes? So I go, oh, okay, well, all right, look, how about I'll meet you on the Hoover Dam, which was, it's about halfway between Vegas and uh, where she lived. Bring the dog, I'll meet you on the Hoover Dam, and I'll take him. Oh, Freddy, isn't that right? That's how it happened. So I did, I drove down to the Hoover Dam, met her. Uh, at that time I had my old Ford Ranger pickup truck. Uh, Fred, this was in a, 
I should note this was 20, beginning of 2014, so seven years ago. Uh, he hopped into my truck. He was just as good as you could ask for. Really a sweet temperament. I don't know why whoever got rid of him got rid of him. Like, why would you get rid of this dog? He's amazing. And he's been amazing ever since I've had him. He hasn't done anything bad. He's never like chewed anything. He doesn't pee or poop in the house. He's just a dream. And he's just, he's just so cute. But somebody, somebody abandoned him. So anyway, I went and picked him up and he had a lot of hair. It was all, you know, kind of scraggly and matted. And so well, before I take him in my house, you're going to get groomed. So I took him to the groomer down on the corner and they gave him this exact same haircut. They basically shaved him. He feels like a velour sweatsuit. You feel like Donnie Brasco. <laughs> but of course, back then he didn't have all this gray on his muzzle. Oh no, he's so distinguished now. I guess we're both kind of distinguished now. <laughs> I mean, seven years is a long time to have a dog. It's the longest time I've ever had a dog. Oh, Frey. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I'm really gonna miss this little bugger. I'm gonna miss you, Freddy. All I'm gonna have is Noonie. I don't even know where that cat is. I think she's hiding from me because I don't think she wants to go to Death Valley, but unfortunately, <laughs> she has no choice. Ow! Anyway, yeah, I'm really gonna miss Fred. Uh, he's leaving any minute, actually. My roommate's cleaning up the last of his things and he's taking the dog with him. <laughs> but before Fred leaves, there's one thing that I've been meaning to do, actually for a couple years now. My roommate says that he once got a hamburger from McDonald's, you know, just one of those regular little basic hamburgers from McDonald's and offered it to the dog. And supposedly the dog wouldn't eat it. Okay, it's kind of like testament to how gross that Franken food they serve at McDonald's is that even a dog wouldn't eat it. And well, I'll admit I was skeptical, like really? I mean, but it's true. Fred is kind of picky about certain treats he doesn't like, certain foods he won't eat. That being said, anything with meat in it, even if it's franken meat, I feel like, really? So before Fred leaves, I'm gonna go to McDonald's real quick and get one of them little burgers and see for myself if Fred will eat it or not. Um, no, I just want to get a regular hamburger, just one plain regular burger. Thank you. Boy, a dollar seventy nine. I don't remember them being that expensive. Thank you. Okay, that was ready so fast they had to have just had it sitting on deck there, waiting for God knows how long. Blah. Well, one thing's for sure, I'm not gonna be able to pop out to McDonald's like this once I'm living in Death Valley. It's like a 30 minute drive to the closest McDonald's from my new place. And don't even mention Chipotle. <laughs> That's like an hour. All right, Fred. <laughs> I hope you're hungry. Oh man, I'm actually super excited to see how this turns out. What is it, Fred? Is that food? <laughs> He's sort of circling it cautiously. Hmm, all right, well, maybe I need to help you out a little bit. Oh man, this thing actually smells really good to me. I mean, if he doesn't eat it, I'd <laughs> be tempted to eat it myself. Actually, fun fact, uh, when I was working as a fetish model, <laughs> I used to do a lot of videos for this website called Girls Gone Rude. It's kind of like Girls Gone Wild, but Girls Gone Rude. So it was just videos of us doing really rude stuff like burping. I did a lot of videos where I would just sit around in a bikini or a regular outfit like this and burp. Or we did a lot of spitting. We did oh, all kinds of stuff, but we did a lot of overeating videos for that website. And so one time the girl who ran the, the site did a, a contest with me. She went to McDonald's and bought like 50, well, I think she bought 25 hamburgers and 25 cheeseburgers, the little ones. And she put them on a big pile on the table. And then we had a contest to see who could eat the most. And that was this video. Like there's there's people who, that's their sexual fetish. They get off on watching women overeat. So, oh my God, it was like a dream come true for me. I got to eat all the burgers I wanted, plus get paid for it. I mean, what's not to like? And I remember just chowing down, like, you know, it alternated cheese. I think I went for a cheeseburger first and a hamburger. And oh man, the first one tasted so good. The second one tasted so good. 
and the third one mm, tasted pretty good. And then the fourth one, mm, it didn't really taste so good anymore. And then like the fifth, sixth, seventh, I had to force myself to eat. Blah, oh my God, by then I thought I'd never want to eat one of these little burgers again, but here I am. All right, Fred, let's see what you think of this McDonald's hamburger. Just gonna put it right here on the floor for him. That way, if he doesn't eat it, I can just have it myself. Oh, look at that. Just to refresh your memory, look at that. That's a classic McDonald's burger. One lonely pickle slice, a little sprinkle of onions, and I guess mustard and ketchup, that's it. Okay, Fred, that's for you. <laughs> He's sniffing it. Oh, wait, what? Oh, well, wait a minute. Fred, apparently you're getting less picky in your old age. What is this? He just lifted the top of the bun off. Now he's going for, I feel like Howard Cosell. He lifted the top of the bun off. Now he's going for the patty. He licked it, but does he want to eat it? He's just kind of sniffing it and licking it. It's weird. Oh man, now I can't eat it anymore. <laughs> and of course the bun landed ketchup side down on the floor. Bah. Oh, he's licking the patty. <laughs> I think he I think he is going to eat it. Oh, yeah, yum. That's good stuff, huh, Freddy? There's got to be at least 37% beef in that. Let's see if he goes for the bread. <gasps> Whoa, <laughs> taking that outside to be alone. <laughs> All right, well, I guess that wasn't ideal for a viral video showing how gross McDonald's hamburgers are, but hey. Fred got a treat, and that's all that matters. Aw, oh, Fred, you like that treat? <laughs> oh, I think he just grew an extra leg. <laughs> uh, well, live and learn. Whew. Okay, it's several hours later. My roommate still hasn't left. It's almost like he's dragging it out on purpose, but wow, I know how things go. All that stuff with the burger was really just a diversionary tactic anyway, so that, well, so that I could try to distract myself from how genuinely sad I am that my dog is leaving. <laughs> I wish my roommate would just get back and take him already. You know, it'd be like just ripping off a band-aid or ripping off a scab instead of just waiting around. I mean, I spent all day packing, boxing stuff up. I actually made quite a bit of progress. Took down all my pictures. <laughs> All my memories, this is the time I did the electric vagina performance art. And then there's a really cool nudie I did once under the Milky Way. Really made pretty good work of the living room, got everything taken down and boxed up what I could. My roommate has completely emptied his room and presumably bathroom, but there's still one more thing he hasn't taken with it. Fred, did he forget you? I kind of hope so. I don't know where he is. I mean, maybe I should text him. So to be honest, I have some errands I need to go around. I'm starving. I need to go to Chipotle for one of the last times. And I wanted to be here. Well, in a way I wanted to be here when he came and took Fred away so I could give him one last hug. But in another way, it'd probably be easier if I wasn't here. So maybe I should just leave. <sighs> Either way, I know I'm gonna cry my eyes out tonight but not on camera. Because as a very famous woman once said, don't cry out loud, just keep it inside and learn how to hide your feelings. Fly high and proud. And if you should fall, remember you almost had it all. <laughs> <laughs> He's over my bullshit anyway. Bye, Fred. Aww.